protecting the people who feed the world. That is the mission of AgriSafe, which works to reduce health disparities in agricultural communities. Executive Director of AgriSafe Network, Natalie Roy, joins us now for uh, more information on this. And thank you so much. This is so important to talk about. But first address who is AgriSafe, how it got started, when it got started. Sure, yeah, we're really proud. AgriSafe was started 20 years ago by nurses in Iowa okay. who recognized that farmers needed access to good occupational health care. A lot of those nurses were actually farmers themselves. So formed 20 years ago, was supposed to be based in Iowa, but expanded nationally fairly quickly. And those nurses also believed in what we call total farmer health, meaning mm -hmm. if we're going to address the occupational needs of farmers, we need to talk about things like sleep deprivation, mm -hmm. access to good health care, you know, making sure that they're not suffering from hearing loss. Those are things that we focus on here at AgriSafe. That's incredible. These nurses, of course, know firsthand, especially yeah. if they're coming from a farming background as well. Speak to the outreach, the, the programs that are offered with Total Farmer Health. Sure. I mean, AgriSafe, again, we're a nonprofit, mm -hmm. but we work in the public health space. And we care about, especially those emerging health issues that, that other people might not be talking about. For example, like with avian influenza that mm -hmm. happened, here in this past spring, we had, what, 40 million birds mm -hmm. die. And it wasn't the, actually the threat of the virus, the avian virus, that we were concerned about for farmers. It was a cleanup of the birds. Mm -hmm. And so AgriSafe worked closely with academic centers, the CDC, to make sure there was good guidance so farmers in the cleanup had the right respirator and they knew how to protect themselves. So we're going to move fairly quickly to protect the health mm -hmm. of the farmer. Um, and this also includes, when I say total farm health, their mental health. Yes. And, and that's very important. And unfortunately, farmers have a high uh, uh, rate of death by suicide. And we want to change that. That's why, for example, we started the first crisis line for farmers 24-7. Wow. You know, we're going to talk more about that a little bit later mm -hmm. here on Market Day Report on the mental health aspects of AgriSafe um, or AgriHealth. And I want to do talk about the response to hazards on the farm. Speak mm -hmm. to that and how quickly you guys can, can help out farmers and producers. Yeah, we, we're able to, to move quickly because we have great partners throughout the nation. And so we care about things like natural disasters that can affect a farm. So. You know, as you know, for the recent flooding, flooding in Kentucky, mm -hmm. I mean, when a farm floods, that's a big deal. Like, you've got major hazards. You've got well contamination, potentially. You've got a lot of mold, obviously, because of the organic matter. So what we want farmers to remember is that, obviously, in the midst of a flood cleanup, you're not going to go take a webinar from AgriSafe or maybe have time to search. Mm -hmm. But please seek us out for information because we have a hub of information and it's there for the farmer to help them navigate really complex hazards. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that because there are resources where they can do these training courses. You might want to do that and be preventative, right? Exactly. And be prepared. Yes. So that you guys offer. We know we unfortunately have flooding every year. We got wildfires every year and there right. are specific health threats that are real for farmers, and we want to make sure we can serve those training needs. Yeah. I know that Farm Safety and Health Week is coming up late September. How can our viewers get involved and help raise awareness? Oh, just spread the word. It's the end of September, September 19th to the 23rd. Every day we have two trainings per day, anything from youth safety to women in agriculture to tractor safety, led by experts across the nation. So we would be thrilled if folks could access it and push that training out. Absolutely. Just great yeah. information and what a service you guys thank provide. Thank you so Natalie, much. Thank you Appreciate so much it. for some great information there. Executive Director of AgriSafe Network, Natalie Roy.